Greetings and welcome to Vampire Survivors. I'm Catherine of Sky, and today we're going to go for another achievement uh, run. We are going to go into Capella Magna. That is the place where we have, I think there's a, co a coffin with Ziasunta in there. Uh, we might take Tarona's box. Uh, that's a really interesting item. Um, yeah, open the coffin in Capella Magna. So let's see how many of these achievements we can get. Trina Kriya. We can also go for so let's start this let's take red death he is our most experienced character here and we will go to capella magna god that's beautiful wow we don't want to go hurry mode it's sad that this has such a small gold bonus it looks pretty from here let's see what it looks like i've never played this stage before okay um wow we have stuff we have stuff um you want to go with a dagger build this time? That could be fun. Maybe we go dagger, um, and, well, we don't want to take the whip, actually, because, um, yeah, because, uh, well, we need to evolve that with the new whip that we get. Let me see what else we have here. Uh, three bounces. The bounces are great as well. I like the bounces, and we have already the this thing this thing is really good let's go ahead and get this and then maybe we'll take the revives later this will give us some nice stuff oh my god this is really pretty already i'm really impressed let's go and see what we got in here song of mana i let's get the gun first what do we got on this map we have the uh tire, tire gisu, tire, yeah, tiramisu tiragisu that's cool there's a crown looks like it's also up there that's pretty amazing. So we can take an extra passive um, because we have that crown unlocked. Oh, that's interesting. Wonder if there's a silver ring. Maybe it's behind the gold ring. It's hard to tell actually. But uh, yeah, let's try to get to the end of the stage. We also want to find that coffin. Let's go ahead and buy golden eggs. Ooh, uh, regen, health. We have armor. We have a pickup radius, pickup radius, curse, curse, um, AOE. Oh, that's the revives. And then another curse. Another uh, regen. Magnet. We should have tons of magnet by, by now. Goodness me. All right. Let's take the clock lancet. We're going to need that. Whoa. Okay, there's little angels in here. That's interesting. Where is the coffin? Is it down there? Ah, it's down there. Okay, let's make our way down there. Because that is somewhere we really need to go. That is definitely required for what we want to do right now. Let's take the gun again. Wait, did we get two guns now? No, just one still. One gun. Um, ooh, that's a very interesting enemy. Hello. I don't say that I... I don't know if I'm a really big fan of these columns in here. It feels like it's very uh, something. This is cool, though. Like, those things are just bouncing off this enemy. It's kind of crazy. Little bit nuts. All right, clock or... Hmm. We take clock there. Maybe we'll take <clears throat> something different here. I don't know. We want to take Torona's box, of course. Wait, where did that enemy go? Huh. Strange. All right. Well, in any case, it's okay. Let's take this. Let's find some enemies to kill with this lovely flamethrower. Bracer. I think we can take the bracer. I think we have an extra slot here. Let me check the thing. Yeah, let's take the bracer. We have a lot of options for weapons because we're getting that duplicator for free. That means we could take the lightning ring. Um, that is a nice one. You can remember it because duplicator adds things and the whole phrase of, you know, lightning never strikes twice. But in this case, it definitely does. All right, let's go toward the south here <clears throat> to pick up those things. All right, we have some closed corridors here of this uh, cathedral looking place. I really like... <coughs> <clears throat> this um this environment i think it's very pretty i like the stained glass windows those are very lovely and um yeah i think it's cool i think it's very cool um big fan of stained glass windows i i was once i visited notre dame actually before it burned and um it, that almost like killed me off man i was so distressed about the fire that happened a few years back um, it was an accident, of course, but um, I just, it was like almost killed me off because I'm just so passionate about art and architecture and all the things. Really scary. 
when that happens. Okay, so let's go here. Um, of course, the Tiragisu is free. So that's a happy thing for us. This uh, stage has a lot of stuff that we need, and I like that. So we got the crown and the Tiragisu. Those are both things we do not have to take as a passive. So that gives us lots of options for what, what, what we do want to take. I feel like the Attract Orb might be a good thing. Okay, taking gun first. Always wanting to level those things. Needing to get those going, going, going. I do wonder if the other ring is in here. I'm, I'm kind of like, what's going on with this? But yeah, gotta get the gotta get to the coffins uh, first. That is really important. Oh, whoops! There's a bunch of XP over here. Oh, that's a bit bizarre, is it not? Eight o'clock. Yep, that's fine. Look at this pile of coffins near the throne, and then they have a pipe organ. That's quite cool. I like the organ, but not sure about the pile of coffins there. That's a tiny bit creepy. It's like they're planning on killing a whole bunch of people. Uh, do we take the Candelabrador? Let's see. We need a Tiramisu and Crown, so that's two things we already have there. Book, Bracer, and Duplicator is also on the map. Um, I think we take the Candelabrador, because the AoE is a nice, nice thing. That will also help us fill up our passive so that we can start ga gathering some of these items that are on the map. Okay, Torona's box. Yes, we'll take that. We also want spinach. Um, that is really also quite important. Hold on. Let me just write that down. Um, let's see, spinach. So I think that takes up our extra slots. We may not be able to get the duplicator. I mean, not the duplicator, the, um, attract orb. We'll see. Okay, this is good. Um, right. This is good. So what do we need now? What do we need? We need spinach. Okay, that's important. Um, we need spinach. What else do we need here? We have the crown. We don't need the mask. Is there anything? Oh, the skull, if we get the Song of Mana. Skull is important. I don't think that's on the map. Okay, so spinach and skull. I think those are our final answers for this. Final choices. Okay, Lancet. Uh-huh. So when I have everything ready by the time we get to the little bits and pieces here. But yeah, definitely looking for that coffin right now. And how close are we? Oh, we're quite close, actually. Pretty close. We apparently passed by the duplicator, which, uh, yeah, I didn't even notice. Sad times. Anyway, we're doing really well. I'm I'm pretty happy with our progress. You can see how the um, the axes have grown in size already. Um, with Torona's box and um, and the Candelabrador. Oh, hello. There we go. We got uh, enemies. Good. This is great. This is exactly what we wanted. Perfect. All right. We have to kill all of these enemies. And of course, I'm going to stand in the center because of our radial attacks with this weapon. They're really good. There we go. Hello. Hello. Who are you? Thank you, Mask of the Red Death, but the vampire is in another coffin. Mm, the princess is in another castle. Yeah. Okay, so she is Zia Sunta Bel Paez. Joins the survivors. Excellent. Okay, cool. So now we can make our way back up to that duplicator and hopefully get our passives filled up by the time we get there. Um, yep. Something that's cool. Wait, what is that? That, oh, that's an explodey something. Interesting, interesting. Okay, cool. Lots of nice farm here, which is great. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, knife, claw, lancet, all right, gun. Gun is always good. We need some more weapons. We really are very short on those. We haven't really been offered anything that I like, generally. Um... Except for the one gun. <laughs> but I we need the other gun. We're probably going to go for Song of Mana as well. I really love the Song of Mana. Probably couldn't even tell. Mm. But yeah, I do. Um, I, I find that it just like covers the whole area in an AoE that is irresistible to the enemies to come into like the light and just die from it. Good stuff. Okay. 
Keep on going. Keep on getting XP. Let's go. We need some farm here. Really need some farm. Uh, the laurel. Yes, we can get the laurel. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and it helps if you evolve the laurel and the clock lancet early. Like, try to get as many levels on them as you can before you're able to get the other pieces. Because, I mean, it's all XP. And um, our good duplicator is coming up, I guess. Axe, Pumarola, and Spinach. Yo, there's our Spinach. Yeah, let's take that. Crown? No, because we're going to get that for free. Um, Spinach? Yeah. Tarona's box. Okay, Tiragisu is free later. I think we'll take Tarona's box. Oh, I should have done the Laurel, because I just said I should do the Laurel. Whoops. It's fine. It's fine. It doesn't really provide us too much benefit until later anyway. Go Clock Lancet, since that's almost done. It's also nice to finish stuff uh, so that you have them off the list. You can no longer get them on the list, so it creates an area for new stuff to kind of percolate and come in and get more choices, basically. Uh, so I like to finish off items that way. Okay. Okay, getting close to the duplicator, I think, maybe. Oh no, I left a box down there. Oh crap. Uh, let's go get the box. I, I'll go get it real quick. Man, I hate when I leave boxes around. That's annoying. All right, but this character is very fast, so we can easily get it and come back and not worry about wasting too much time there. I I don't, I, I don't know. I feel like the symbols should be a little bit more sparkly or something. Also, this is bad stuff. We should not stand here too long. But it's, um, if you want to clear this stuff, basically it's this boss on the left there. You see that with, that with the blue cloak on. Um, you can just clear it by going up for a while and then coming back down. Uh, or not, not a while, but a distance, I should say. I think it's by distance. And then you go back down and he's gone. He just disappears. But you see that uh, that enemy on many stages, including the forest. I found a few in the forest the other day. Um, and it's just, eh, meh, whatever. Um, but anyway, I do wish that these little arrows were a bit more visible. Because I do find that they uh, kind of blend in. Especially with so much bullet hell on the screen. Kind of difficult to see. Alright, we don't want any of these things. Ah, uh, come on. So I'm just going to get XP here. We're going to do a little bit of farm. How close are we to this thing? Too close. We are actually too close. So I'm going to go and uh, go for the uh, stuff collector. That one's down here just south of right here. Oh, money. Money. Magic wand. No, I don't want any of this stuff. Please, people. Give me what I want. Okay, this thingy is close by. There we go. And take it. All of the XP is now mine. Hooray. Cross. Pumarola spinach. Sure. Uh, Laurel is now what we want. And then what else? Wait, what are we waiting for? Oh, skull. Skull, of course we want the skull. Base area up. That is also super nice. Uh, Laurel. I really want to get some of these other items. We're running out of stuff to upgrade right now. But we are doing really well. We're level 33 and it's only 7 or 8 minutes now. Um, we are looking for... You know, if you divide the time into thirds, and there's a lot of those achievements that are like, you know, level 99. So I kind of like, okay, we need to be level 30 or 33 by the time we have 10 minutes. Because 10 minutes is a third of the time. So you're doing well if you're around level 30 at 10 minutes. And of course, later you can always get the crown. We don't even have the crown yet. So those things, you can you can escalate your uh, experience earning just by getting the crown and other things. But yeah, 10, 10 minutes and level 30 is great. Pretty great. Laurel. We're looking for that skull before we go and pilfer the duplicator. Fox. Nice. 
Got a book. Boom. Take it. Oh, there's an enemy. But the enemies teleport around like bosses and stuff, so you don't need to really worry about chasing them down or anything. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go Torona's box. I think we'll try to get the thing, even though it gives us 100% curse, the enemies do not seem to be that bad right now. Um, we're not having, I mean, that could change by the end of the game, I don't know, but anyway, it seems to be okay. There is an achievement for getting Torona's box to level 9. Um, so I kind of want to go for that as well. Seems to be pretty good bonuses in general. Though not all of them equate to raw damage. There is a DPS component of, like, speed of stuff, but it depends what you have your arcana at and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we need a gun. And we need the pentagram. So I think what I'm going to do is take the Song of Mana and take the pentagram after. Get another gun. But yeah, this is good. So we got one thing that we wanted. Jeez, it's taken so long to get this thing. So weird, you know? Oh, this guy is back. Okay, that's fun. Uh, I'm going to go up, I think, and avoid him maybe. Okay, we got to get out of here. All right, let's go up here. Try to avoid the duplicator until we can actually get it properly, but it's clear we need to move. Because that dude ain't going away. Alright, so duplicator's right over it this way. Let's go up to the next area so we don't accidentally grab it. Seems like a good spot here, this red carpeted place. Uh, yeah, and just to farm a little bit of mon uh, stuff. Okay, still not there. We still don't have the skull. Is it not on the map? It doesn't appear to be on the map, so we don't really have that choice at the moment of grabbing it on the map. It's okay. Gosh, this guy's still here. I thought we went far enough north. What the heck? Jeez. All right, that's not good. Can you please just give me the dang thing that I want, dude? Also, that, that uh, blue guy cannot be killed, uh, so you don't really have that much choice with him. Uh, what we could do is, since we still don't have what we want, we could go just north and try to get those other items and then come back down south. Uh, this character has quite a fast move speed. Um, but this that, that dude with the water, the rising waters, I've never seen him go up that high before. So I'm a bit worried about it, a tiny bit. Ooh, and we missed a box down there as well. Could go back down and see. Okay, let's see what we got here. I really want revivals or something other than these things. All right, here's our revivals. Let's get that. Really good thing for money at the end of the game. Let's go and go back down and see if the... Oh, he's still here. Definitely here. Jeez. And I don't know if that thing has a depth or what. I'm a bit afraid of checking the depth. Here's our skull. Hooray! All right, we finally got the skull. But now we cannot go get the darn duplicator. We're actually closer to these items. So let's go and see those and then we'll try to come back down. I'm really happy about this development. This is good. Very good. We definitely need to just upgrade our weapons though. Do a little bit of farm. We're not in a very good farming zone. It does feel a bit sparse with uh, trash enemies. So we're having all of these kind of dangerous enemies around us. Which I'm not that excited about. Alright, so we're going to get both of these items here. The crown and the tirigisu. Um, and that will improve our lives immensely. For sure. For sure, man. Wait, here's the crown. Oh, they're both here. Nice. Get crown. Get tirigisu. Alright, we're going to go back down. Um, maybe... So the clock lancet stuff is to the right. And the duplicator is down. Maybe we go for the duplicator. I don't know. Looks like we also have two boxes uh, down somewhere. Uh, okay. The box is here somewhere? Where? There's also a crucifix. Oh, that killed that guy. Happy days. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever killed him before. That was a big surprise to me. Really big surprise. But, because um, I think in, in other maps I've just been able to like go further north. Wait, where is that box? We missed it. Where the heck is it? That was very strange. That was really odd. 
Okay, let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Ooh, a three-piece set. That is, oh. Yay! Two curse! Hooray! Wonderful. That's one reason you might want to banish curse if you see it. Is because the boxes are random. And you're going to get a random thing from them, obviously. Um, so, yeah. Not always the best choice to have it available. Uh, it's hard to banish something and not get it power level. Uh, but sometimes it is necessary. Like there. We got two levels of curse, which I didn't really want. Um, but it's okay. I mean, I think we're going to survive. We have really strong build here. Uh, like I said in a previous episode, I really appreciate having the, um, uh, oh, gun. Yes. Oh, awesome. This is perfect now. We are in a good spot now. Um, I, I like having the spinach because it is an overall damage increase of every single item. Crown is necessary here. Uh, always take the crown if possible, because the more experience bonus you get, the more experience you get. So yeah, very, very important. Uh, we don't have the pentagram, so we don't have the automatic vacuum yet. Uh, let's take the crown. If that, if the crown wasn't there, I probably would have banished the skull there. Um, but it was, so we didn't take it. Anyway, um... Also remember that with the Clock Lance, it's freezing abilities. Any of these enemies that go blue, they will not harm you. Uh, also remember the clock is just ticking the time. It goes in the clock directions, uh, which means that you can aim it. You can aim it at a mini boss or a segment of, especially I find when, you ha when you're surrounded. It's like, oh my God. And then you just walk through the enemies that are frozen and everything is fine in the world again. Uh, you can also go into the enemies just to kill them if you have a decent build that has a lot of, uh, you know, AoE that surrounds you. Uh, so that's pretty, pretty handy. Oh god. Okay. Alright, let's banish the skull. We're already at level 3 of the skull, so that's 30% more um, thingy than we want. All right, so duplicators here. Get it? Let's go. I don't know if that's going to do much for us. I mean, it's going to give us one extra axe. I guess... Oh, wow. What is this circle of stuff? That's so cool. What happened here? That's fantastic. I don't know what, what went on here. Jeez. Oh, they're they're naughty. Okay, I see. I see. I see. All right. Interesting. Anyway, uh, let's try to go for the other items that are out there. Let's try to take Torona's box later. Um, just because it is adding to the curse part. Um, and if, uh, yeah, curse, I should probably explain, is basically, um, adding enemy health and speed and, uh, HP, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. So those are like little mimics, those, uh, those bits of, uh, XP. They're actually mimics. It's funny. So we're looking for, let's see, upgrade of our guns. That's really important. Um, we're going to go probably, I guess we're going to acquire some of those uh, guardians right now. All right, we're at 16 minutes and only level 46. That is a little bit worrying to me because I feel like we should be a little bit higher. Um, but that's okay. We'll get there. We want to go eight the sparrow. We want to upgrade the guns because the guns have magnificent AOE. Um, let's see. Do we have... Oh my god, I missed two boxes. Wow. Um, I'm going to go back down and get them because uh, they are closer right now than the ring. Uh, I completely missed them. I feel like, yeah, these indicators are really not great. They are tiny. They're at the edge of the screen, but not all the way at the edge of the screen. I think if they were almost overlapping the bottom border of the screen, like at those, it would be better. Um, let's see. Yeah, Song of Mana is good. Okay, Mimics again. But, okay, Sparrow, yep. Let's get this box first. Brown, it's a free upgrade. That's really what we're looking for is the upgrades right now. And, um, yeah, so far the XP's really been difficult to get. Uh, the beginning stages were fine, but now it feels extremely like, whoa, what's going on here? 
Where's this box? Okay, it is here somewhere, right? And also the highlights on in the gameplay itself, not on the map, like, to, like right now where we are, that is also really difficult to see, at least for me. Uh, the map is so useful for that because it can actually... Oh, God, cat, can you please not do this? What are you doing? Oh, my God, cat. Stop that. Oi. Okay, that's Emma causing trouble again. The other night, she knocked down my... I have this glorious large angel um, on, a, on a table, and she knocked it down down i was like cat what are you doing and like it caused everything to go off the table i have this beautiful handmade wooden bowl there and i have um i don't other other precious decorations um and normally they're quite well behaved man emma was going all destroyer mode here so uh yeah ms matrix knows all about that <laughs> So anyway, I don't know. I don't know if I'm not farming enough here or what. Maybe I'm just not farming enough. I feel like I definitely need more farm. I am. I feel like I'm really behind right now. We need to be at level 66 at least by uh, the minutes here. I think I'm gonna farm. Let's farm a bit and uh, just see if we can. Oh God, there's this really weird ring of stuff again. Here we go. I think we're going to catch up now if I'm good with the farming here. Also, I should have saved that box for uh, an evolution because we have two coming up. Song of Mana is very close and the guns are very close. So yeah, good stuff. Oh man. Okay, now we're getting some, some, some good stuff. Sometimes you just have to stop and farm even if you want to keep going. Like I really want to get those rings and I want to get the laurel stuff, but we have enough right now. We actually do have enough to uh, on our list to to level up. So if we had nothing on our list, then yeah, go all the way over there because all you're going to be doing is spending the XP on money, which really isn't that great in this area because we don't have the um, we don't have anything really. We don't have the the um, the mask that gives us the bonus. So yeah. And we, right now we just have too many items to upgrade, so we don't need more. We don't need those rings. Even as much as the clock lancet is powerful, it's better to get these other things done. Okay, so now we need a box. Uh, all right. It's cool that, that it also shows the like little uh, extra, you know, weapons and stuff on the map. That's nice. Okay, um, cool down, sure. Okay, where are we going? Song of Mana. Song of Mana. More Songs of Mana. Hmm. Let's do Duplicator too. Okay, now we're we are getting down to it. Let's go ahead and get... Wow, we are, like, done now. Okay, now we run for stuff. Jeez Louise, look at this, like, wow. Jeez. Okay, let's go for the rings now. Definitely important. All right, we're going to use this flamethrower on this dude here. Let's walk close enough. There he goes. He's dead now. I don't know what that gave us. I don't think it gave us anything, actually. All right, flamethrower. Let's go, go, go. Look at how big our axes are. Isn't that amazing? It's pretty dang cool. Like, massive. All right, so both rings are here. That's nice. We'll take those. Easy peasy. Oh, there's our guardians. Get, get. All right, good. So now we have something to upgrade with our levels. That's really important. You do not want to waste too many levels on coins uh, because it really doesn't help you very much. Oh no, we died. Okay, it's okay. No problem. We will we will be more careful. We can be more careful, but we're gonna upgrade these uh, rings at our leisure as well. But I'm really looking for a few um, candelabra thingies. I feel like instead of the bracer, I might should have taken the other thing, the um, the attract orb. That is so helpful for gathering XP. Um, but we were going to take the pentagram as well. So that's kind of like where I was, where my thoughts were because it has an automatic vacuum on the evolution. All right, let's see. Um, 
Let's try to get through here. We're going, wanting to go left, actually. There's a tr chicken dinner down there. Oh, there's a box over there, which might give us our very wonderful uh, evolution of the guns. Please give us the guns, please. There you go, guns. The guns are amazing because they now are around me everywhere. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, all right, silver ring. Oh, we got a an egg. Okay, we got the um, the armor, and we got something that looked like an anchor. Maybe it was duration. Could have been duration. I don't know. It was cool. It was great, though. It was really great. God, there's so much XP around here. Um, I'm just going to go and get all of it. So now we can actually get the pentagram, which is pretty great. Pretty great. So now we lost a lot there, but immediately we're killing everything and we're just picking everything up right now so let's just go pentagram try to just get it evolved so we have the vacuum that's really going to be important for leveling up of course Torona's box gives us you know 100 percent extra curse so right now our curse amount is 144 percent this is not ideal this is really not ideal um but uh, it is uh, part of the achievements we're going for in this run, and I think we have enough firepower to combat that. I hope we do anyway. Mm -hmm. Wait, I was going to go for that chicken dinner. Um, mm, go up here and get it. Get one. We do, of course, have the passive healing, which is pretty high. It's 2.2 .2 per second. Um, that's really nice. It's, it's a very tiny amount compared to other games with like healing potions and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, we don't have healing potions here at all. Not at all. Okay, there's our chicken. Yay. Okay. Pentagram. I'll take it. Boom. Beautiful. Once we get that evolved, we're going to be able to pick up all of this XP just vacuum-wise. Vacuums from the entire map. It's pretty darn great. All right, we are now level 83 at 22 minutes. More than enough time to get to 100. Not that we're looking for 100, but it is nice to get the extra bags of gold after we evolve everything. And um, But we're going to try to get to level 99 with... Uh, what is her name? Zia Santi or something? Or Zia Santa? I, oh my god, I keep forgetting what her name is. Um, but she's the gal with like the electric whip thing. So, uh, yeah, I think we're definitely, uh, I, I definitely want to get a run with her getting to level 99 or 100. Um, I don't think it's in the achievements, but I still want to get it anyway. Okay, we'll go pentagram, of course. Pentagram. Um, and there we go. Cool. This is very cool. I'm, I really love this game so much. I like the feeling of it being very challenging. And then you get almost OP, but not quite OP. You get to a point where you still need to be careful. The whole game is really well balanced and it's very challenging. And uh, I really like that about this game. Really good. It's really good. Okay, let's go Silver Ring. More rings, more rings, uh, additional rings, and more rings. Definitely want the Clock Lancet first if you're choosing between Laurel and Clock Lancet. There we go. We're going to be able to kill these enemies. Keep on clicking. Let's go. <laughs> Jesus. Yep, yep. We got to have them all evolved in order to get what we need to get. Very, very good. Yeah, in those cases, it doesn't matter if you choose left or right first. I mean, it's 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 happening. It's going. I just keep my mouse at the same position because uh, I use WASD to move around. I believe you can move around with the mouse, but I found it really awkward and it wasn't accurate uh, the way I needed it to be. And it's also hard to see your cursor as well. Um, but I like WASD for that and I just uh, am just going around. We really need to get a box now. Oh, there's a box over there. Okay, let's go make our way over there. Let's get this chicken first, floor chicken. That's such a strange idea, this like floor chicken thing. Like, huh? Oh, hello, we got an egg. Where is the egg? 
There is another one. Oh, <gasps> no! Did it delete the other egg? No, I bet it did. Oh, oh no, it's still there. It was off screen. Okay, magnet. Oh my god, I love getting magnet. That's a great thing. Uh, I really want to build up the magnet, but of course, you know, it's all random what you get. Okay, thank you, thank you. Is there anything here? No, we're not missing anything. So let's go back to that box and see if we can get an evolution out of it. We're looking for evolution of the clock lancet and the laurel right now. Uh, everything... Oh no, actually the menage... Uh, the, uh, oh, uh, menage is the evolution of the song of mana. And uh, that we also need as well. Let's go get it. Anything we're missing? Nigh a chicken out there. I don't really need it, though. I don't need it at all, I should say. Alright, keeping on going here. Having that evolution of the um, the pentagram into the gorgeous moon is going to be so nice. So, so nice. Because vac it'll vacuum from the entire map. Alright, here we go. That is our infinite corridor, which is the evolution of the clock lancet, of course. And that halves enemy HP all around whenever we see the rainbow pulse. We just got the menagee as well. There's the rainbow pulse. So it just pretty much instantly kills stuff. Well, especially with our other, like, our instant death beam of the, uh, the guns. The gun evolution is so crazy. Okay. I'm just trying to go into a pole, and apparently that pole was exciting. Okay, last evolution needed coming up. We really need a box. Alright, I'm not going to go and get any of those other things. We don't really need them. I'm just going to farm XP in this small area here. We're at 134 level-wise. I think the key to getting high levels is to get the crown early, but we had to really wait on ours because of the because it was free, but it it we had to wait for all the other things to get filled in their slots and sometimes that takes a frustratingly long time, but I mean, I think that's why I love this game. Every every game is different and you never know what's going to happen um and if you're going to get stuff you want on time or if it's going to take a while or or what. But yeah, after playing that fast mode um, last night, it was like, eh, that's not a great thing because definitely didn't get anywhere near. I think I got like 30,000 gold or something like that, maybe more. I forgot. But nowhere near the 100,000 I've been getting uh, by playing regular hyper. So, yeah. And yeah, I played the bone, bone zone when I played the, uh, the, the clock two times clock thing, whatever it's called. Um, and that, yeah, same map exactly for farming gold, did the same build and everything, and nope, definitely not the same. The money here, it's so funny how the money is absolutely tiny because there's no gold fever bonus. Oh, there we go. Nice, we got our crimson shroud now. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Now we don't have to worry about gathering XP. I think I'm going to go to a place with less columns. I keep running into the darn columns. Also, if you're in the right direction, you can also choose the item with the space bar. Like, you know, whenever I get max XP. Um, see the, the little selecty thingies? I'm using WAC here right now. And you can press spacebar. The, the reason I say right direction is if you're holding down, like going downward on the map on S, it may choose the other one if you're not careful. Why is nothing coming to me there? That was weird. But yeah, this is, we're getting a lot of, a lot of stuff. The, the money is terrible, absolutely horrible. But um, again, we don't have the the bonus for gold on this map, nor do we have the um, the, the mask to increase the gold gain. But it's okay; it's fine. You know, it's it, this is meant for an achievement. It's not meant for 
farming gold. And that's, you know, there are very definite specific activities that you can go for in this game, which is kind of cool. I like that. You have your farming games and your other games and it's just fine. Okay, I'm just looking for stuff. It is getting a tiny bit thick around here. I'm a bit worried, but we only have a minute and a half left, so it should be fine, I hope. I feel like we definitely have enough DPS for killing the bosses at the end. I'm curious to see when that happens, because normally we've gone past minute 31. Um, but if we have the, um, you know, since we have Torona's box, I don't know. I think, I think it will overpower the, the baddie bosses because of the the uh, clock lancet having the enemy's HP every single time. There we go. There we go. I was walking down, so... I tend to just keep pressing the buttons even when this thing comes up. I think my reactions are not quite as agile to like, oh, you know, it is quite sudden that that little window that comes up anyway. So it's all good. I'll take a floor chicken, I think. All right. Is there any floor chicken around us? Yes. There's supposedly one to the left. Ah, oh, yes. There we go. Chicken, chicken, chicken dinners. Okay. And then up to the right somehow. Somewhere, somewhere, somehow, all the things. There's some money there. Where is this chicken dinner? It's up here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I should look on the sides because that's where the candelabras were standing. And those are the things that drop the things. Surprise the Song of Mana hasn't procced in a while. Get us some of those XP gems. In this uh, kind of area, we can actually stand a little bit more still than we did with the gold farming. Okay, so... Okay, all right. Now, I don't know if we killed the proper boss on this level. I'm wondering if that was the kind of purple shrouded guy that we killed earlier with the... Uh, I think we killed him with the... What are all those enemies? We're past 30 and there's still enemies here? This is weird. Huh. I'm going to go and find... Actually, I don't need to find a chicken. I'm going to anyway. Wow, yeah, I'm getting really murdered here. Really murdered. Oh, dear. Okay. We are getting the bonuses, so maybe a revival isn't totally necessary. But yeah, I do feel like I'm being kind of killed here. Gonna start going for those chickens. Let's go just south. There's a lot of chickens down there, and uh, yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm being swarmed at the moment. This is really bad. Oh, there's a chicken there. No! Give me my chicken! Nay! Ah! Oh. Damn. All right. It does say stage complete. Where are the eggs though? I'm. I guess I haven't killed it yet. Okay, there is some money. Money ver via chickens. <laughs> but we now have two uh, bosses on screen. Uh, and they haven't died yet. I'm a little bit worried that I'm not going to be able to get them. This rush of enemies is absolutely crazy. There's a chicken there. Thank God. Uh, more chicken. One down again. It doesn't seem like these guys are giving me any XP, which is not ideal. Okay, I got that, but I don't see the chicken yet. Should be up to the left and I died again. But at least I have several revives, uh, which is good. Okay, that's that. All right, let's go to the right and get those chickens. At least it'll help us survive a little longer. At least we have the shroud. That is really important, actually, to have the shroud uh, because it makes them not do more than 10 damage at a time. 
Okay, got this one, got that. Oh, there we go! Eggs! Oh my god, let's get the eggs. Jeez Louise. Did I get all the eggs? Yes. Okay, I don't care now. Nothing else is important. We're done! Hooray! Ah, oh, this is great. Got another duplicator I saw. I uh, wasn't sure of the other items that I that I got. This is nuts. Look at this craziness. Really weird, all these like little this is this makes it much more challenging the end of the game, but honestly, there's very little reason for us to play this level again unless we just like the scenery. Um Yeah. Alright, eleven hundred gold coins, keep going and reviving. Um, but yeah, the gold, uh, gold edition is only like 40%, so not great. Definitely not great. All right, more money again. Okay, here we are. We did get the Trina Kriya, and we got Ziasunta, and we got the Omni. Oh, Omni. Okay, cool. I don't know what the Omni is, but that sounds great. Um, so now we just need to survive, I think. Let's see how many unlocks do we have. We have two left. Survive 15 minutes with Ziasunta. Oh, yeah, and combine the weapon with the bloody tear. Okay, so that sounds like a plan for the next episode. I hope you have enjoyed this one. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.